everyone. It is Jeanette Martin, one of the co-funders of the Gratitude and Appreciation Summit. And it's Thankful Thursday Reflections again. Yay. Can you believe another week is gone? I know, it's gone so fast, Jeanette. I'm Kathy Prester, and I'm also co-founder of the Gratitude and Appreciation Summit International. And we are here again on Thursday night, and um, we've got some very special guests on tonight. And um, I'm I'm holidaying right now, and I got burned in the sun. Look at that red. Um, thanks to Brian and Phyllis taking us out on the lake today. It was so awesome. Yeah. Brian and Phyllis, um, thank you for agreeing to come on tonight. It was a very spontaneous thought I had first thing this morning, um, and that's the way I roll sometimes. Don't need to plan things every time. Um, but I was reflecting a lot uh, last night as we said goodnight that um, you two are the most two of the most amazing people I have ever met and so blessed to have in my life and now my husband and my daughter's life. My daughter hesitated no problem to say hey we need to visit those people because she remembers you even though it's been a decade since we've seen yeah. you in it's been a long time and we go way, way back to 30 years ago in Fort St. John Day. Wow. I know it was a long time, wow. ago. yeah, like 30 years ago or something like that. And um, and what amazes me is as, as I'm visiting with you guys, is you're still giving back and you're still just spreading kindness in your community. And Brian built a beautiful um, zip line in the backyard of the oh, wow. here for the neighbors to use, all the kids. Huh. And that was one of the things I remember most is you always had kids at your house. You always had an open door policy. And I, I don't know. Oh, Kathy's frozen. So I'm just gonna take over here for a second. And the question I'm gonna ask you, and thank you so much, and now you're in my life, is where does this seat of kindness come from? Where do you go to re refresh yourself or, or, or where did kindness come from for you? <laughs> go ahead. Well, I don't know. It's probably just the way we were we were brought up. Our, our family was always involved with with doing things in our community there, and uh, my dad was very involved with the with the church. And in fact, we actually built a church together. Uh, oh wow! It was a Blue Mountain Baptist Church in Coquitlam. It's still there. I know and, it well. Uh, I lived in Coquitlam for many years. Yeah, and as uh, as a kid, that's one of the, the things that we did. I can still remember banging nails into the floor of that monstrosity of a building, and it's just the way we were brought up. We were always doing doing things for other people, and and I think that just probably just carried on because it, it gives you a, a good feeling as well that that uh, you can make an impression in in somebody else's life, a, a positive impression. So, what were your professions? Um, uh, I, I, are you retired or like, what are your Oh, yes. Yes. You've been retired now for, oh, 14 years, 13, okay. 14 years. Now, 33 years as a teacher in Fort St. John. Okay. I taught science, even earth science. And uh, really <laughs> That's an inside it. joke, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, but no, I've always enjoyed kids and, and working with kids and and actually, Kathy got us involved with with band, and uh, I mean, I was always involved with music, but uh, got me back playing and and with the band that she was directing, which was a lot of fun. So I ended up going on quite a few band trips with her, um, nice. with the students and that. Yeah, and we had a great time together. It's uh, yeah. And how about you, Phyllis? Where mm -hmm. what do you do to uh, keep yourself busy? And what was your profession? Well, my profession was a nurse um, for, I forget how many years, many years anyway. I retired in 2010 and uh, came to the shoe shop and I thought we were I was gonna work again, but never did. There was enough work here. We have an acre, so I garden. And also I, I really enjoy visiting seniors and helping out with seniors and also love children. I just love children and having children in my home and doing crafts with them and baking with them and uh, just uh, sharing with them. And uh, also our faith is a big part of our life. Mm -hmm. Our faith is, um, we've been so blessed with so much that you need to share yeah. with what you have. Yeah. 
we've been very blessed with lots of stuff and uh, not even stuff, but friends and family and, you know, just very blessed. Oh, Kathy keeps popping in and out. So, um, oh, there she's, she's back. <laughs> Kathy keeps coming back. So Kathy, um, a question to you now that you're brought back on the screen is <laughs> what is one of your um, fondest memories that Phyllis and Brian stepped up in your life um, that you just can kind of go to top, top of mind? Oh my goodness. That, that's a huge list of things. But one of my <laughs> favorite memories was playing volleyball. They oh, yeah. volleyball. <laughs> yeah. What a crazy game. <laughs> <laughs> But we have long days at work and we have band practice until I don't know what it was, eight o'clock at night or whatever it was. And then we go and and get out all our frustrations playing playing volleyball in squash courts. And you know what? And then going to Boston Pizza for something. <laughs> like that, you know? and there's so many memories. They the you two enveloped me into your family so easily. You even took me on trips. We'd yeah, go to yeah. Northern Alberta and you'd introduce me to your friends. And, yeah. and even when I was taking care of a person's, um, Helen's house, when I lived in her house to take care of it, right. here comes Brian with his rototiller, the rototiller garden in the back so that she could come home to a garden, you know? <laughs> and, you know, it was just, um, yeah, it's really all of it. And it was a really hard thing for me to leave. Um, it kind of stunned that I left rather abruptly. Um, due to lots of really, really good reasons. But you two have been, you know, when you come down to the coast and we visit and yeah. I don't know, you're just, you're just amazing, amazing people and so kind. And I love your laughs, your laughs, <laughs> you know, and, and you share to this day that kindness, even in your new community here, even though you've been here a while, you know, you're so, all giving back. So on that, on community, what do you do in community to, uh, to, to give back and, give a sense of kindness out to the world. There's a lot of things that you can get involved in if you want to. Um, we met some people just shortly after, my son and I built this house over two years. And right after we finished, um, we were went going to a Remembrance Day ceremony. We're looking for one. And we ended up at, a, at the school and met some neat people there. And they got us involved in some of the community things. We have a, a group uh, called the Angle Bay Entertainers. And uh, it's a bunch of older people that just love to get out and do music together. And uh, every two years we put on a, a show and it's very well received all over the, <laughs> over the year. We usually do about eight shows, uh, eight nights. And wow. uh, yeah, and so you're, you're doing this as a fundraiser for the center. Um, so, but it, and people really appreciate it. So that really is what got me involved in the, in the community itself. And then, of course, the church was just a, a natural thing for us that that uh, we would attend and, and take part in a lot of the activities there. I lead a worship team and, and involved with the sound uh, production. And, and now with COVID, we've had to change a lot of things with yeah, exactly. um, it's a lot more work, but we've managed to, to carry on right through with with uh, um, live streaming and, and YouTubing pro shows and that sort of thing. So it's been it's been very busy and easy to work in this community because people are very giving here. Mm -hmm. Well, that that you know what I think that's a perfect place to uh, to leave it, Kathy. We're coming down to our, our time. Yep. So Brian and Phyllis, we love 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 sending out kindness to the world, and we have a special way we do it. We grab, put your right hand up, put your left hand up. We're not going to make you shake it all about. We're going <laughs> to put your hands together. <laughs> We're gonna rub them together, make a heart, and pump it three times. One, two, three. Kindness out to the world. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us tonight and uh, sharing your stories. You're terrific people, and um, I wish you all oh much happiness, much happiness, much happiness. And Kathy, you thank too. you for bringing thank them you. into my life. You're very welcome, Jeanette. My pleasure. And yeah. thank you for watching, everybody. And if you're watching the replay, please share something that means something to you in your community. What are you giving back to the community in kindness? And I challenge everybody to step up and at least do one thing in, our, in your community and giving back.
So thank you so much. And we'll see you next Thursday. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>